or sorry, excuse me, Hinge. Yeah. What about you? I'm on Hinge and Raya. Hinge and Raya, Christian Mingle. Not a Christian. <laughs> farmers only. I am a farmer. There you go. Find your own farmers only, guys. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Tinder. Tinder. Okay, what about you? Hinge. Hinge. You have a boyfriend, so hopefully you're not on a dating app. What about you? Uh, no dating apps and no. live. No dating apps. No dating apps. Okay, good times, good times. So, Eric, why don't we go ahead and pull up. We're going to just start off right away with the dating app <laughs> reviews, and then we're going to talk about Valentine's Day after that. All right, so this is Samantha here. Uh, this is just her... Uh, her homepage. Mm-hmm. Note that Samantha's very popular on Hinge. She has 50 plus pending matches. Mm-hmm. How many is it actually though? You think it's 100, 200? Um, it's probably closer like, to the mic. It's probably like 60. I don't know. It's probably not that high. I don't really go on it too much. Okay. All right. Let's let's take a look at her uh, next one. <clears throat> All right. So guys, uh, keep in mind. By the way, you need to charge your cell phone. I just want to <laughs> oh let my you God, know. Yeah, I do. Um, Guys, we're gonna ask you, once we're done going through all her uh, prompts and photos, are you swiping yes or are you swiping no? Okay, you should leave a comment if you cannot, or you can make me laugh nonstop. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, is that very important to you? Like Humor, humor, I really like a guy who can like make me laugh or like we have similar humor, that's very important to me. Yeah. Similar humor? Yes. What's, what is your humor? Probably like, Dark humor or dirty Dur- humor. I'm, Dur- I have dirty a dirty humor. mind. Honestly. You have a dirty mind. Yes. Tell us about your dirty mind while we're at it. Well, it's, I just do like to like make oh, sexual jokes. Even Cheeks donated $50. Chelsea isn't interested in my success. The rest of the ladies, I'm successful, disease-free, 5 feet 8 inches, Latino, 162 pounds, and aside from owning these RVs all over the South, who'd want to go out for a cup of coffee with me? Would you guys swipe right on me? No, you're five eight. Wow, cheeks. I'm sorry, man. She's five eleven though. She's quite tall. Um, what about you guys? Would you swipe on cheeks? Obviously, you don't see his photo, but yeah. what what he described. Um, I mean, I'd have to know his personality more, but I can't say yes or no yet. I want okay. the benefit of the doubt. But Maybe like a f- we need a photo or something. You think? No, I just need to know more about him. He just. He needs to drop some more. Uh, his name's kind of like beaten cheeks. Yeah, it's a little interesting. It's a little, little out there. Yeah. Yeah, may, I think cheeks. You might have to step up the dark and dirty humor to uh, impress mm. Sarah over here. What about you? Would you swipe on him? Uh, no, I'd need to see a photo. Okay, all right. <laughs> Her name's Sam, though. Yes. Who? You said Sarah. I said Sarah. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. 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 It's oh, okay. excuse me, Elizabeth. My bad. <laughs> yeah, um, good. Hold on. I just, I need, this, I need to apologize. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Okay. Um, here, Thanks, let's keep Alex. It, let's keep, of course. <laughs> let's keep it moving. Um, can you pull it back up, Eric? Okay. You, so you can make me laugh nonstop. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, laughter. Okay. And if a guy is not funny, is that just a deal breaker for you? Um, no, I mean, if he laughs at my jokes, Eric, I won't, can you close the door? I won't really care. Like, if he thinks I'm funny, then I don't really care. Okay, if he thinks you're funny, yes. would you say you're funny? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Make, make me laugh. No, it has to be, like, it has to, like, yeah, organic. Like, something has to happen, and then I have to, like, feed off that. Okay, yes. all right. Next one, Eric, go ahead. Okay, uh, 18 from Santa Barbara other political orientation are you like a uh, anarcho anarcho communist yes no i'm just kidding okay um i i just have like very like beliefs everywhere like i kind of like i don't want to like put myself to like a certain group because i kind of believe in a lot of things sure okay um next one eric you yes to drinking sometimes smoke sometimes do marijuana and i think you omitted your drug use, because on Hinge there's a thing for drug use. So I'm just going to assume that you do methamphetamine and heroin. No, I don't, sadly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Darn. Okay, um, next one. <laughs> next one. Okay, uh, here's another photo of Sam. Music, my friends, art and food. Next. Another photo. Okay, next. Oh, okay, I think that was... Was that it? There was another one, but it was like the... 
The one where it was like dating me. Oh, is that shit? Think... Eric, Eric, can you try to find that in the folder? Uh, pull it, pull it on on the screen over here so we can see it. So we'll pull it up. But uh, while Eric does that, chat. Do you? Uh... No, no, no. Pull it over here, Eric. <laughs> yeah, the folder, so I can see which one it is. You're not, you're not going to know which one it is. No, j just leave the OBS window where it is and just get rid of always on top. Um, so, guys, yes or no, do you go for Sam? She does do heroin, guys, so. Don't out me. That's a oh, secret. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, okay, she just says meth. Oh, <coughs> download folder. Can you hide that, Steven Eric? Steven Krug super chatted $50. Hide the folder, yeah. Oh, yo, Steven Krug. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I guess you didn't attach a, a super chat to that, but uh, go to the download folder, Eric. Yeah. Um, so there's one missing. Can you just uh, it's click click on the one. which one? The top one. Which well, one? There's actually like two more missing, but it's those two top ones. To the that right. that one and the other one to the right of it. Sorry, guys. We are. Obviously, professional operation here. Are you sure this is it? That, that one is well. Yeah, yeah, pull it over, Eric. Okay, let's, uh, you can minimize this. Yeah, all right, pull it up. Oh, hold on, actually. Stephen Krug super chatted $50. A cheese factory exploded in France. Debris is everywhere. <laughs> hey, Stephen Krug, thank you, man. Appreciate the uh, super chat. Uh, merci beaucoup. Let me see if I can translate this to French. Uh, le fromage, I don't know how to say factory in French. Uh, a explodé en France, debris, et à uh, toute, toute la place. Okay, that's my uh, poor French skills. Um, thank you, Stephen. Appreciate it. Uh, Eric, can you pull it up? Uh, next one. So you said there's one. Okay, dating me is like chaotic. Why is mm -hmm. dating you like chaotic? Um, I think I'm just like really fun and spontaneous. So like I feel like if you date me, it'd be... There'd be a lot of things happening. Not in a bad way, like in the best way possible. Okay. The best type of chaotic. Mm -hmm. Give me an example of the chaos. Um, actually, know. before you do that, no, actually, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I don't know, like, I need like example. Like, okay, okay, you like, and Liv me, yeah, yeah. are dating for mm -hmm. three months. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna make her life miserable? No, but I don't oh, wanna I make mean, her life miserable. Oh, I mean, excuse me, chaotic. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm, I don't know. I'd probably like surprise her and we like go do something fun, like buy her like a concert ticket for her favorite person and then we'll just go like last minute, go have a good time, treat her well, you know? Okay. I, I, well, I mean, I'm not sure if that's chaotic. Perhaps the, if it's very last mm -hmm. minute, perhaps, but um, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> by the way, guys, one in the chat. Um, eh, actually, never mind. <laughs> Okay, did, did they vote, by the way? Did I have them vote? Yeah, you did. What, what was the consensus? Somebody said it wouldn't convince them. It's not chaotic. Guys, when you're looking for a girl, and I actually want to open the panel up to this, is, is, a, is chaos typically a thing you're looking for from a partner? I've gotten a lot of reactions to that certain thing of so many people being like, oh, like, let me get some of that chaos or like... Ruin my life. Like, I love chaotic like chaoticness. I, I wouldn't say I'm like actually that much of a chaotic... Yeah, you seem pretty mellow. Yeah, no, I'm not. But I said that to <laughs> You're lying. People. You're yeah, misrepresenting. I am, I am a little lying. But it's, I wanted to attract people because like, you know, a lot of guys do like that. Like, they like say they don't, but they like, they really do. I feel like it makes your life interesting. But I'm, I'm kind of like... Erroneous. Wait, go ahead. I said, I feel like it makes your life interesting. The Spices guy's life? Up. Both parties. Okay, I can tell you right now, we, what men are looking for out of relationships is not, we, we want peace. That's the <laughs> biggest thing. If you can bring your guy peace, he'll, st he'll stay by your side. But then he'll get bored. No, he won't. Trust me. I've, we don't I've brought in peace to guys and they've gotten like they got bored of me and they cheated on me or like they would do so, like and they just wouldn't like I was very peaceful I brought so much peace to you guys and how's the chaos working out well I actually don't use chaos but I oh. maybe I, but I put it because I'm like maybe I'm like just gonna start using chaos because apparently the peace doesn't work well I'll say this a guy who has nothing going on I suppose he might welcome the excitement mm -hmm. but 
men who are like actually trying to do something with their lives, who have who live stressful lives, the last thing they want is to go home and have to contend with a combative and chaotic woman. Mm -hmm. Like the biggest thing, one of the top things I think women can bring to a guy is peace. Yeah, I think it goes both ways too. Like for sure, I think of that's course. like what you want in a relationship. Period. Of course, like a yeah. good safe place, like a person to look at and be like, "That's home. Mm -hmm. That's peace. There's my sanctuary." You know, I totally agree with that. Yeah, it's just if you're dating a guy, for example, if he has a really stressful job, he wants he doesn't want to go home or have his he doesn't want to have stress also with his partner. He wants someone where it's just stress free and it's just all. All chill and mellow. So, but you think some guys like it? I just feel like it makes life fun. How would you make it? Well, she 